Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a cheese quesadilla turned into nachos. We added some ground beef and some beans with all the toppings. You guys wanna see how we make it? Here we go. First things first, let's get that cheese grated. To get started, simply we're talking about quesadilla nachos. You get your cheese ready. If you notice, we did two different kinds. We did that quesadilla cheese that we absolutely love. We've done it on several videos. And we just mix a cheddar in there. Extra sharp, sharp, you name it. Then the other one is gonna be the topping for the ground beef that's gonna be spread all over the quesadilla nachos. Simply, we're making cheese quesadillas. So, we have our tortillas, we have our griddle heated up about 400 degrees. And then this is about as easy as it seems. I'm not doing any oil or butter. I did just oil the griddle just to lubricate it, but even griddle, tortillas down, we'll add the cheese. We're making cheese quesadillas. And we're just looking to give those just a quick flip. That cheese skirt around, it's no big deal. Batch number two. Tortillas down, cheese down. Just like that, these should be done. Take these off, set them on the cooling rack so they can start to cool. You have just created your tortilla chip. Just like that, you just want to let these cool down roughly room temperature, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Simple enough. Now the next step is we've allowed the quesadillas to cool down. We're gonna add some oil and start deep frying. I'm just gonna wait till the temp comes up roughly about 350, 375. We got a little ways to go. And just like that, your cheese quesadillas are ready to fry. When your oil's up the temp, just be very careful. Only fry enough is what you think that your skillet can handle. 10 inch, 12 inch, Dutch oven. Just don't overcrowd it. You don't want that temp to drop. So they come out of the grease, we like to hit them with a little tahini. You can hit them with a little salt if you want to. Let those cool down, we can start our second batch. All right, a quick little tip after frying several of them. Um, you definitely want to avoid overcrowding because once the cheese starts to ooze, they like to stick to each other. Not a big deal. Just back some of them off. We're averaging basically one quesadilla per fry. Now that that fuss is over, everything came out fantastic. The griddle's still on low. Just gonna ground off some brown ground off some brown beef. And you guys know why I can't speak English. So there's some ground beef and we're actually gonna cut it with some black beans. We like the beans, refried beans, black beans. So not a big deal. All I'm doing is separate the beef from the grease, just like you would inside the house in a skillet. That looks about healthy enough. Plenty of grease out of there. Use your favorite taco seasoning. Like I said, we're going plain Jane basic. Adding water just like the package instructions. Let that cook down. Okay. 
I know what you're thinking, why black beans? Really two reasons. One, my kids like it, and anytime I get my kids to eat something else besides chicken fingers and blah, 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 I'm gonna try to do that. Um, they, they don't even care. And two, cost. When you're talking about adding beans to like a protein, like a ground beef or chicken, um, it just kind of stretches that cost out there. And you know, we like it too, so that's why we're doing it. Simple enough, this is the idea. We talk about omelets and everything else. So I want to scoop this up and try to place it nice and neat on the nachos for absolutely no reason except to make it look pretty. Because I'm going to, I'm pounding these nachos. So now I'm just going to mound the beef up with that uh, grated cheese. This has the pepper jack and the uh, cheddar. You can see I'm going light on the cheese. <laughs> Way to go, honey. That was sarcasm. Way to go, honey. Way to For go. you all that aren't married to him. It's hard to tell a lot of times. Hey, Doman's the best way. Oh, really quick. Add just a touch of water. And now I'm looking just to spread out the nachos, kind of like family style, so we can all nitpick. Same thing when people come over, you can make a huge platter of these things. You can layer them if you want to for more layers. And just like that. Oh yeah. Now you think we're done. No, 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 no. We got your guac, store bought, homemade, you name it, we got it. We got your sour cream. We make pico on the channel 40,000 times. You guys know how to make it by now. Onions, garlic, lime juice, a little salt, tomatoes, cilantro. We go heavy on the cilantro because we like it. So now we're talking about fried cheese quesadilla ground beef nachos. And this is how you elevate your griddle game. Obviously you're gonna add the ingredients that you like or the toppings. And for my half, the pickled jalapenos. They're too spicy for my wife. We got the mild ones and she can't handle them. <laughs> And just for a little bit of greenery, just a little bit of green onion. Now that is a griddle appetizer. I don't know about you from the camera angle, but from this angle right here, look at that little goodness. All the little crispies. I'm going in for the mega bite. Oh, geez, I'm going to have to use another one as a dang. Look at all that cheese in there. Jalapeno, guac. I got some of that ground beef, too. Use another one as a spoon. Mm hmm. Game day appetizers, family get togethers, happy, sad, glory. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All the right notes. Just look at that thing right there. Look at that. I know you like guac here. <laughs> Add a little hot sauce to that thing. Mm. I wonder if we added mozzarella cheese in like a buffalo chicken style for game day. Mm. There's a lot of things you can play around with this. Sweet chili and mm. Asian. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm going outside. If this gets any colder, I'm going to be furious. <laughs> if you guys are interested, check us out on Instagram. Also, check us on Facebook, The Griddle Grip. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share with your friends. Peace. Just look mm. at that. That's super good. <laughs> mm. Come on, let's go.